They go play action with Richardson. He's got a man complete. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. Heck of a start. A 30-yard pickup on their first play from scrimmage. I've heard of quick strike offenses, but this has taken that to the extreme. I mean, the very first snap of the ball game, normally you're thinking, let's get our quarterback comfortable and get him into the flow of the game, but not here. They come out attacking from the outset, and it pays off in a big way. So the big play gets him across midfield now for first and 10. And the slot man goes in motion left. Now here's a fake on the jet sweep, and instead a give to Taylor. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. That felt like a trap because it looked to me like the opposing front was on that play from the get-go. They had everyone crashing the ball carry before he even made the line, and they hold him to just a yard. Second and nine. They go to the ground again with Taylor. And he'll take it inside the 40 to the 39-yard line. Only gets three yards there on the heels of the one-yard pickup. Sets up third and six. Typically, we think it's the strong safeties that are better tacklers, especially closer to the line of scrimmage amidst traffic. But in this case, how about the free safety coming up and making the big-time play? On third down, here's Richardson. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Jaguars' 25-yard line. Another good reception there. The Colts on the march. Solid opening drive so far, Charles. They've moved this football into field goal range, but you know that they want to cap this off with six and not three. Absolutely. As one of the better coaches in the league always tells me, on offense, I want to throw body blows all game long and finish it with uppercuts. Well, here are the body blows right now. He's hoping in one uppercut will take care of the end of this drive. First and 10, Richardson looks to throw it. And that is going to be incomplete as he led him a bit too much. They had their backs up against the wall a little bit, and they come through by forcing an incompletion. Now they've got to continue to ratchet up the intensity a couple of more times and get off the field before giving up any more yardage. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Richardson looking to throw. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. And no matter what the situation, the O-line just hates that because they feel like they didn't protect little brother back there, right? Man, that's just so difficult for them because just think about every single play. When you decide to throw the football, you're dealing with some of the best athletes on the planet. You talk about guys, if they weren't playing football, they'd be starring in the NBA at power forward. It's a really difficult task. The seventh play now of this opening drive. This is third and long, though. Now it's Richardson. A short throw. This is caught by Cox. And he does not get to the first down marker as they stop him at the 19. So instead of forcing the field goal, it'll be first and goal. Yeah, the force was trying to make something happen that just didn't need to, right? I mean, the plays happen, let it go. It's over. Instead, he creates a penalty. So now after the face mask penalty, here's first and goal. Here's Richardson to throw. And that'll be off the mark too far out in front, and it's incomplete. I know coaches tell us all the time that having a powerful arm isn't the number one thing they look for in a quarterback. But when you're trying to throw inside routes and you need to put some heat on it, it helps have the big gun. In this case, just a little bit too much. Another shot from the nine on second and goal. Now Richardson. That one finds Pierce right side. 
And he'll get this down inside the five to the four before he's out of bounds. The catch good for six yards, but now it's third and goal. Now Richardson back to throw it. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. They converted twice on third down that drive already, but couldn't make it a third. We always talk about in-game adjustments. How about what the defense did there, able to shut them down on that attempt? Matt Gay now gets ready for the field goal try. From the right hash, and this one just a chippy. Gay's kick is good. And the Colts hit the scoreboard first. It's 3-0. Well, after marching down the field, only getting three there, kind of feels like a win for the defense. And it does. They'll go to the sideline feeling a lot better that they didn't give up a touchdown after the march against them. But if I were the offense, I wouldn't hang my head over that one. That's a good drive, and three points were put on the board. The Colts kicking team is out there now, and they will send this one away. Johnson won't return this, and the football will come out to the 25. So here's the first drive now for the Jags. They're led by the number one overall pick in the 2021 draft, Trevor Lawrence. And you want to talk about enormous expectations being placed on a quarterback. How about what Trevor Lawrence faced coming out of college? But the good thing for him... He's used to it. He had the same type of expectations leaving high school and going to Clemson. They always expect him to be a franchise savior, whatever team he joins. And to his credit, he shouldered those expectations. And he's doing everything in his power to follow through. Lawrence bringing the Jaguars up first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. And they'll start on the ground, ETN. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Well, you often say that sort of opens the playbook now, second and short. What do you think, early shot here? I like where you're going. Obviously, we've been together for a while because you know me. I want to take that shot early and loosen things up. Maybe a good spot to take a shot. Here's second and a yard from the 34. Here's Lawrence to throw. Slam complete to ETN. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. Ten yards there, good enough for a Jags first down. Well, that was a pretty favorable situation there. What would you call that, second and manageable? Smart play, too. Didn't force it downfield when he didn't have it. Just checked it down, let him get the first down, and that's exactly what he did. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. From the shotgun, Lawrence steps away to his left. And he'll protect himself at the end here as he winds up getting pretty decent yardage. He'll get five out of the scramble. It's second down. I certainly like what he did right there because he smartly wanted to avoid forcing anything downfield because nothing appeared to be open. Nice harmless slide there to avoid the big hit. And he gets a small gain on the play. From midfield now, Lawrence. He'll get this off to ETN. And he'll get it down here to the 43. Seven yards there and a first down. Well, we know he can run the football too, but he's a good pass catcher. And that's been on display here, Charles, on this opening drive. And we certainly have seen the benefits of what he did in the offseason, which was spend more time with wide receivers, working on routes, working on cuts, in order to make himself a more complete running back and even more of a threat downfield. And he's going to be stopped at about the 37. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. A nice run here early on. It doesn't take a great play caller to realize you want to establish a guy of his caliber with runs like this early because they'll pay dividends as the game progresses. Clock rolling as we hit the midway point of this first quarter. On play action, Lawrence. Looking sideline, incomplete. Be 
Seventh play of the drive now as they come up on a third and three. Lawrence will throw. And tight coverage there. It's knocked away incomplete. This defense has certainly played well so far in this game, and the coverage has been tight on just about every throw. Forced a few here so far in this game, and now it brings up fourth down. So now they're going to send out the field goal unit to, as they say, fire away from long distance. This from 54 yards away. And this kick is not going to be close. It's well short, well right to boot. And instead of tying it up, they'll remain down by three. Second drive coming up here for the Indianapolis Colts. They've got a 3-0 lead and the football as they start first and 10. Charles, 54 yards. I'm surprised that came up short. I would agree with that one because normally if he misses, it's accuracy, not length because he has plenty of leg for that. But maybe it's like I hit my golf shot, you know? Maybe it's like <laughs> my wedge. You know, when you chili dip and you hit the ground ahead of it, sometimes that'll shorten your distance as well. The Indy offense at the line and set to go. On first down, Richardson. They'll set up the screen to Taylor. And they went the wrong way there. Losing yardage back at the 43-yard line. He was unable to shake free there, and they'll cover him for a loss of a yard. Heck of a play there to get to him quickly and get him down for a loss. I think they did a really nice job getting ready for this game, scouting, watching film, and understanding defensively what the play design was. Second and 11. Richardson looking to throw this. Throw over the middle. Going to be caught here by Mo Alley Cox. So the completion good for seven there. And it's third and four now. The completion was given up, but that's why you play zone defense, so that you can have people around the ball when it's caught and you don't give up much run after the catch. This now a third and four. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. Richardson under pressure, and down he goes. Josh Allen drops him for a loss of 10, and it's going to be fourth and long. And this is what you've got to do against a quarterback like him. You've got to keep him in the pocket and not let him get to the perimeter, because once he gets outside, that's where he can really hurt you. Out is Rigoberto Sanchez on fourth down to punt this thing. And here's a very low line drive, almost whiffed on it. Fair catch called for and taken right near the 30-yard line. A special teams mistake there, no doubt. Just 26 yards officially on the punt. And the Jaguars go on offense, first down and 10. So time to see Jacksonville again on offense for the second time here in this game. Yeah, they were in field goal range the last time out, but couldn't connect. And it's early in the game, so I don't think that the confidence just goes entirely out of, you know, running your kicker back out there. But let's face it, some coaches have a little bit less patience for that than others. Let's see if they call the game differently now in terms of what they do on drives and not try and settle for field goals. Meanwhile, Lawrence's throw into the hands of Kirk. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. It's a gain of 13 for number 13, and it gives him a first down. That was a nicely run slant route, and what the receiver's trying to do is make the defender think he's going upfield for a deeper route, and then breaks it off, usually after about three to four steps, and cuts towards the middle of the field. And now what he's trying to do is use his body to keep the defender away from the football and give the quarterback a really nice target. 
A nice effort and an even nicer stop from Quiddy Pay. Plays like we just saw there. That's why they're up right now. And the defense, they're doing their job. Yeah, it starts with the guys up front. So when you talk with GMs who are putting together a team, a lot of them say, we're going to build from the inside out because if you control the line of scrimmage, you control the rest of the ball game. And that's what we're seeing here. They're actually playing in the offense's backfield, not necessarily just playing at the line of scrimmage. So the first down run lost a couple. Now they come up second and 12. ETN once more. And he's going to bull his way forward to the 48. That's what they needed. It's an eight-yard gain, and now third and four suddenly doesn't look so bad. On a second and long, it's really nice to see an offense that has enough confidence to run the football in that situation. I think that goes back to their practice and game planning. They've seen things that they've seen on tape and in previous games that led them to believe that even in a long distance situation, they can still run the football and gain enough yardage to put themselves in a good spot on third down. 11 yards there for Jacksonville and a first down as well. well. I think when they look at their offense, they think to themselves, weapons, weapons everywhere. And they want to move the ball around. They want to spread it to different people. But you absolutely know they want to get this man involved as well. And that's what they just did on that play. Now from Colts territory, here's a first and 10 at the 41. Now a handoff to Bigsby. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple and that's it. Well, any lane that might have been open there was closed pretty quickly, and that was because the defensive front, they won that battle at the point of attack at the line of scrimmage. They used great leverage, held their spot, and stacked him up. On second down, a run with ETN. And he works it to the 30-yard line here, right at the 30. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. Well, they came into this game saying it was important that they set the tone and show that they can run the football. And I believe that they've done that here in the first quarter. Hey, so hey. first and 10 hey. now from the 30. Here's Lawrence. And bringing it in, it's Davis. And they'll work it inside the 15-yard line before it's all said and done. 16 yards that time on the pickup for the Jags and a first down. Well, that's what you're looking for when you want to throw the ball downfield. You want one of those guys who can play out on the perimeter, can play out wide, who can not only get open, but when they're covered, can uncover themselves downfield and create catches. There's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. Lawrence. Touchdown! Devin Duvernay. A 14-yard touchdown. And the Jags are able to answer the early three points and take a first-quarter lead. That's one of those long drives where not only do you score, but you really tire out the defense, too. That's a great point, because now they've been on the field for a long time. Them going to the bench, trying to make adjustments, trying to figure things out, but they'll do so fatigued. Riley Patterson now for the extra point. So he missed his lone field goal try, but he's got this one as that extends their lead. So that drive goes eight plays, and it results in a touchdown for Jacksonville. After the touchdown, Cook now to kick this one away. And he'll go down as this drive will start at the 25-yard line. 
Here comes the Indianapolis offense now as they get set to take over. And Charles, a very uninspired effort the last time we saw them out there. It was a quick three and out, then they punted the football. Yeah, and you never want to get stopped so soundly during a series, but what would be even worse now is letting it happen again right here. They've got to get going. They'll run with Taylor to begin the drive. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. Absolutely love the effort there. The ability to flow from his inside spot and stop that one at the line of scrimmage. Nice linebacker play. Well, they had the run for no gain. Now they'll try again from the 25 on second and 10. Richardson. He'll drop this down to Taylor. And yeah, this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. Five yards. Now it's third and five. After one, seven, three, the score on EA Sports. Start of the second quarter, and it's the Colts in possession as they've got it with a third down coming up. They'll need five on this play to move the sticks. Richardson shotgun on third down. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. A loss of three on the sack made by multiple defenders. He continues, Charles, to be under constant pressure. And these sacks, they're starting to pile up. And if they want to have a realistic chance in this one, They've got to change their blocking assignments. They've got to do a better job to keep him upright. If he's going to be on the deck constantly, they've got no chance to win this game. To punt on fourth down, here's Rigoberto Sanchez. Yeah, yikes. Terrible kick headed straight for the sidelines. Back out is the Jacksonville offense and Trevor Lawrence. He had the touchdown pass last time they had it. And they'll start here with a first and ten. Looking to throw Lawrence. That's caught by his tight end, Evan Ingram. So the completion good for six yards, and that will bring up second down. I know sometimes we can get fooled when we watch him make catches, as we just saw him do there, because he really looks like a wide receiver the way he goes about his business. Yeah, 230, 240 range. Yeah, not, not super huge. Maybe not counted on to be that inline point of attack blocker that we used to have in the good old days. But you can flex him out. You can run wide receiver routes with him. You can make him a primary target. And that's how he'll shred a defense. This second and four. Now Lawrence to throw. And that one off the mark behind him, incomplete. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. Hey, now they face a third down and four after that incompletion on second down. Now this is going to be a quarterback draw. And he's going to get to the 31, enough for the first down. They get five out of that one, and it moves the chains. I do know that owners, when they watch their quarterbacks run with the football, they usually hold their breath because that's the franchise. But when you're getting that kind of a gain, hard to argue against calling it. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. 
Now Lawrence. Screenplay. Here's ETN. He'll be dropped at the 25 after a gain of six. And good yardage there on first down because sometimes all you need to do on the screen is get one key block. That might set your man free, and that was pretty good pursuit to the football defensively, or it could have gone for more. Two minutes gone by, second quarter. Now Lawrence pushes past him. ETN bringing in another one. And he'll take it down here just shy of the 15 at the 16-yard line. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. Another catch for him there on this drive, Brandon, and it looks like they're going to utilize him out of the backfield any way they can. And that time, they pick up a first down. So now on defense, do you assign a man to him and try and cover him before he gets going? So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. Looking to throw, Lawrence. And he works his way past the line of scrimmage and then slides to a halt. He'll get three yards on the scramble there at second down. Brandon, once that one broke down, there were only so many options left for him to take. Fortunately, only first down, so he smartly got the yardage he could get and didn't worry about trying to turn into a bigger play and end up taking a bigger loss. Here, they hope they can regroup and get something different going here on second down. Open man right side is Ingram. And the Jags are going to be set up with a first and goal coming up as they get him down at the six-yard line. That was a route run not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. Found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw him, and was able to make the sure catch and flip the down marker back to one. Back to throw. Lawrence. The throwing left sideline there, but it's incomplete. And down here, first and goal, if it's not there, don't force it. You've got at least two, if not three more shots at it. So that's a wise move to get rid of it. They come up here with another shot from the six-yard line, and it's second and goal now. Here's a give to Bigsby. And he takes it in. Touchdown, Jacksonville. Take Bigsby. A six-yard touchdown run. And the Jaguars are able to stretch out their lead. They go I formation. Fullback leads the way for the touchdown. Sort of a lost art, isn't it? It really is, but sometimes when you're able to bring it back and use it against other teams, they're not prepared for it. They haven't seen it in a while, and now you gain an advantage, and we just saw that advantage result in a touchdown. Patterson now for the extra point. And this one's right through to make it a 14-3 ball game. That time, a nine-play drive. And it's capped off by a touchdown run of six yards. After the touchdown, Cook now to kick this one away. And Dallas Flowers going to bring this out of the end zone. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. And now Indianapolis set to take the field. It's been very much a slow start for them. Three drives and just the three points, CD. Yeah, if you're into the points per drive ratio, that answer is one, and that's not going to get it done in a ball game. They've got to find a way to finish these drives in end zones, not having balls go through goalposts. Okay, ready? Check, 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 check. Hey, check my 33, check my 33. First and 10, here's Richardson with it. And that's going to be incomplete. Uh, with a rookie quarterback out there, you're definitely going to find out how he handles adversity because this one so far hasn't gone according to plan. He's got to fight through it and show him what he's made of. Second and 10. Hey, check my 33. Check 
Back to throw. Here's Richardson. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Taylor. And he'll be corralled right around the 34. Give the Colts 13 yards and a first down. But well, they certainly made a point of getting him involved in the passing game here in the first half. They must have seen something in the scouting that said, hey, we can capitalize on him getting the ball possibly in the open field. And I think in the second half, that may loosen up the defense a little bit to get the running game going back inside. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. Good coverage downfield led to him taking off, picking up the first down on a 13-yard run. As we both know, there was a lot that went into why they made him their first-round pick this year, and part of it was what they saw in college, his playmaking ability when things break down. As soon as he saw he wasn't getting a lane to throw, he pivoted and found an alternate way to the marker. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. Operating from the gun, Richardson. Throw out right, pulled in by Downs. Only able to gain a couple there, and it'll be second down. From the gun, it's Taylor. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. It's a loss of a yard, so it's back to third and ten. Defensively, he has been a presence in their backfield in the first half. Had a sack earlier, and now he comes up with a big tackle for a loss. The Colts on third down, two for five to this point. This is third and ten. Looking to throw, Richardson. And they'll bring him down right at midfield, and he is well short of the first down. He opted to go with a scramble, gets two yards, and now it's fourth. Nice call on defense, rolling out the nickel package for that big third down play, and he did an excellent job locking down coverage and forcing him to try and run for it, and he doesn't get there, which brings up a big fourth down call. Here's Rigoberto Sanchez on to punt. Oh, this is off the side of his foot. And this punt goes out of bounds, and it'll be marked inside the 40. Jacksonville set to go again offensively. And that last drive was very, very balanced, pretty methodical. You think they go that route again? I'm always of the school that until they stop me from doing something, I'm going to continue. And I think that that's exactly what they'll look to do. But the beauty is the balance that they've created sets up opportunities for big plays. Looks like a run, turn into a play action, and throw one deep. Lawrence bringing the Jaguars up first and 10 at their 38. They'll try and start this drive in the air. That's complete to Davis. They'll give him four yards there, and it'll be second down. Simple drag route here, lined up out left and tried to work his way back across the field. You probably saw me twitch there, partner, because I think he wanted the ball a little bit sooner. By the time he looked it in, defender was right on him. Second down at six now from the 42. Back to throw. Lawrence. He'll find ETN out of the backfield. And he'll get it out a couple yards shy of midfield at the 48. Seven yards there and a first down. One of my old teammates called me the other day when he was watching the game. He's like, man, trying to watch an NFL game and trying to account for their passing game? That's difficult. And just when you think you get everything covered, here comes a back out of the backfield. In this case, he picks up a first down. On first and 10, it's ETN. 
And he's going to take this one across midfield and into Colts territory. Tackle made by Zaire Franklin. Not a run that you're going to write home about, but still a good first down run. That's what an offense calls staying on schedule. Three to four yards on first down. You're set up very well for the rest of the drive. Ball on the 47-yard line. Here's second and six. Play action. It's Lawrence. This is caught. It's Kirk. And they'll get him to the ground. He has another first down at the Colts 29-yard line. He got 18 yards out of that one, and it gets him a new set of downs. The goal for any offense versus his own defense, find the holes where guys are available and put the ball on the receiver before any defender can step up and fill it. They did it well there. Perfectly executed crossing route. Now Lawrence on first down. A short throw to Ingram. I know when you got a top tight end like this, you want to get him involved, but when you do, you're hoping for more than that. You certainly are. You've got to try and get him some space where he can make a play downfield or at least an opportunity for some rack yardage, right? That run after catch. Second down and eight. Back to the ground with ETN. And he's going to get this pretty close to a first down at the Colts 21. Call it a gain of five there on the run, but they'll remain a yard or two short here with third down coming up. I really like the vision he displayed on that play because he saw there wasn't a lane to completely break off a huge gain. So he found where there was the most space and got what he could. A nice dirty run that's a positive play for the offense. Third and two, now Lawrence. Pass over the middle, tipped, but he still brings it in. And he will have a Jaguars first down as they get five there on third and two. Well, just say thank you, Mr. QB. That ball gets tipped in the air, and they come out with a first down. You said it before, sometimes better to be lucky than good. Yeah, but what you have to do as a defender, that ball's in the air. You've got to go up and get it, and at worst, knock it to the ground. We've got a 14-3 ball game with two minutes left in the opening half. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. Looking to throw, Lawrence. And that's complete ETN out of the backfield. And he can't quite get there. Tackled down at the one. Give him back-to-back -back catches now. That one for 16. And another first down. I think he has to be saying to himself, how did that not wind up a touchdown? Remember, you just need the tip of the ball to cross the plane. It's not going to get there, but they're going to be set up in great shape with first and goal. Bigsby will get it into the end zone for a Jaguar touchdown. Well, fair to say they've got something here in this rookie running back, and he's in for the second time of the ball game. And Brandon, it's a position where there's often a lot of turnover, a lot of competition at that spot, but he's proven to them that he wants to be the bell cow guy that his franchise can rely on. Extra point try now for Patterson. And it's 21 to 3. A good drive that time as they go nine plays in all. And it ends with a one yard touchdown run.
After the touchdown, Cook now to kick this one away. And they'll put up the stop sign there as his guys will get it at the 25. The Colts getting another possession here on offense. And Charles, we'll see what they can do here. Not a ton of time left, but enough certainly to get points out of this drive. And they need them right now because they're trailing. Yeah, and this is exactly why you practice a two-minute drill all through camp and at least one practice each week before a game. A minute left, more than enough time to string a few completions together, reach the end zone, and then make that walk back to the locker room just a little more animated. First and 10, it's Richardson. And his throw's going to be incomplete. I think he's got to be careful not to force anything into coverage right there. There weren't really any throwing lanes, but the best part for him, he's got second and third down to fall back on. So following the incompletion, here's second and 10 from the 25. Throwing again, Richardson. Throwing quickly there, but it's incomplete. This defense has passed its first two tests by forcing back-to-back -back incompletions. They know that there's probably another throw coming on third down. Let's see if they decide to force the issue by sending people on a blitz. Now they face a third and 10 after back-to-back -back incompletions. Running straight ahead, Taylor. The Jaguars gonna go ahead and use their first timeout as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Now here's Rigoberto Sanchez as he'll punt it away for the fourth time today. And he'll get this away into the humid Florida sky. Yeah, not a great one there. Out of bounds in the air. And the offense is going to be set up already in enemy territory inside the 45. Travis Etienne and the Jags offense set to take over again here. He's over 40 yards here in the second quarter. Been nice and effective for them, hasn't he? He has definitely been dependable and really shouldn't underestimate what he's getting done here because anytime you're on a pace that's going to approach 100 yards, you've really done some damage in an NFL game. And now he's looking just to add to his totals. On first and 10, it's Lawrence. A quick reaction as he catches it off the tip. The first down screen pass, good for five. And a really nice play call there to start the drive, especially if you're a team that has a little bit of a reputation for throwing it downfield. You come out, and you think maybe you can catch them off guard a little bit, and they did. Little screen pass, backdoored them, and that time worked well for a solid gain. Here's a second and five. Let's go, Pete, let's go. Operating from the gun, Lawrence. A short throw to Ingram. Seven yards there and a first down. The start for them near flawless. Defense gets them a three and out. Two quick pass connections on offense. So that's how a team works together. Just what you described. Get them the ball, give them a little momentum, and they're capitalizing off of that. Thanks a lot, guys. And they'll throw on first down with Lawrence. Open man is Duvernay. And he'll be out of bounds just inside the 25-yard line. All that practice time came to fruition on that play. All those timing routes that they work on through training camp, OTAs, mini camp, and just regular season, they got it done on that one. An out cut, ball was delivered, and picked up the completion. Watch the pass. 45 to Mike, 45 to Mike. On second down, Lawrence. Right back to Duvernay. That's complete. And they'll get him to the ground. He has another first down at the Colts' 12-yard line. A nice pick up there, 10 yards, and it'll move the sticks. Good strong throw and catch right there. And so far in this game, the alleys have been open for them to get completions, and they're taking advantage of it.
From down at the 12, it's first and 10. Back to throw again. He'll get this out to the flat for ETN. Oh, he's brought down. And remember here, no timeouts left. They got to get to the line quick. It'll be a gain of three on what should be the final play of this first half. So we hit the halftime break here in Jacksonville with the Jags on top. As we now go downstate to Orlando and check in with Jonathan Coachman with our EA Sports Halftime Report. All right, BG, thanks very much. And welcome one and all to our beautiful new downtown Orlando studios for this EA Sports Halftime Report. The Jags were treated to a strong first half from their franchise quarterback, Trevor Lawrence. He's got a touchdown through the air as his guys have raced out to a gigantic early lead. All right, Coach, thank you very much as we welcome you back for quarter number three. The Jaguars in possession of the lead, and they will get the football as we are underway in this second half. And he brings us out past the 20 to the 24. So they take the flag and the yardage that comes with it. First down, Lawrence. And that is caught. It's Davis. And way up past the 35 before he's taken down. Fresh out of the locker room, they hit him with a gain of over 20. That's another beautiful throw right there. Gets it to his man right in stride. And I think that throw kind of exemplifies what we've seen from this offense throughout this game. They've been in rhythm. They've been sharp. They've been on it. And they pick up another first down there. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Operating from the gun, Lawrence. And this throw a bit late as he couldn't reach back for it. That certainly appeared to be a play call where they were just trying to make second down, second and short. I think they thought the coverage was off a little bit more than it was. Nice job there pressing up on it and forcing the incompletion. Here's second and 10. Back to throw, Lawrence. A short throw there to Strange. They get six, that'll leave them with third and four. Brandon, perfect defense in this situation would have meant that there was an incompletion that would have picked it off, okay? So they gave up the completion, but I really enjoyed watching how the defense stayed in sync, stayed in great communication, and as he dragged across each zone, you see him pointing, communicating. There he is, and they passed him off to each defender. Ended up making a nice play, even though it was complete. They'll look to throw again. He's got his target. That's complete. And they'll work this down to the 40-yard line, tackled there. That'll give him 60 yards receiving now as he's got a first down. Whatever the discussions were at halftime to try to slow down this offense, it has not worked to this point. Yeah, I have a vision right now of everything that was discussed at the half just being torn in shreds or being erased off of the Microsoft Surface tablets because none of it is working. They are really locked in on offense. Now from Colts territory, here's a first and 10 right at the 40. A give to ETN running right. Looking for a seam, but finding none. He'll get back to the line of scrimmage, and that's it. 
It was Quiddy Pay who made the stop coming off the edge. Nice job there defensively to clamp down because really they've been on their heels this drive. Agreed, and they really needed that one for confidence, just to feel a little bit better. But I don't know if I would be daunted by them stopping me on one run. This drive has gone pretty well. I could come right back at them. And this one also slow and developing as he's maybe getting back here to the line of scrimmage, but not much more than that. No gain that time, but it leaves him with third and 11 coming up. I know the speed is the hallmark of today's NFL game, but the key to good rushing defense is still having your linebackers set the edge. On third down, Lawrence. And oh, that's going to wind up incomplete. Nearly their first pick of the game, but it does bring up fourth down. Not only did he have a chance to scan the field there, it felt like he had a chance to scan it twice. The protection was that good. Unfortunately for him, the coverage downfield, equally good. And this won't get there, won't be online either. It's no good, off to the right, and this will remain an 18-point lead. Here's the Colts now as they get ready for their first possession on offense of the second half. Well, Brandon, anything beyond 50, you start rolling the dice a bit. And once you get up around 57, 58 yards, the chances of making it go down dramatically. And sure enough, this one winds up no good. The Colts come to the line ready to start their next drive. First and 10, Richardson looks to throw it. He'll get this one to Pittman. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And they'll be left with a second and about a foot. Up the middle, here's Taylor. And the stop here will come at the 38-yard line. Four yards the pickup, first down. That ground game contained again there, Charles, and that's really a big reason that they're trailing right now. And give a lot of credit to that defensive front. That's exactly what they worked for all week to try and take away the run game, make them one-dimensional in the battle of game plans. Theirs has been superior. Back to Taylor on first down. On a nice burst there as he'll take this inside the 30 to the 28-yard line. That's good for an Indianapolis first down on a gain of 10. Running lanes were at a premium in the first half, but he's able to find some room there, and he's hoping that that's a precursor of a big second half. Still in search of their first touchdown of the game, but they're on the move. First and 10. First and 10, Taylor now. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. That's a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. And he will slide to a stop. He does have the first down. Give him three yards and a fresh set of downs. We've seen the pressure get to him several times in this game. There, though, we see him escape it. And we've seen this rookie video before as well. That type of pressure, oftentimes, what do you resort to? Your legs try and escape. What you hope is that this doesn't become habit for him, that he learns how to handle the pressure, still keep his eyes downfield, and make some throws. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. Now it's Richardson. Throw taken in by Taylor, left side. 
And he'll get seven yards from the 17 to the 10 before he's taken down. But he's already proven to be a factor in the running game on this drive. Now he gets involved in the passing game. I think what we're seeing here is the modern version of workhorse in the NFL, being able to run it and catch it with equal proficiency. On second down, it's Richardson to throw it. Looking for Pierce, and he's got him. Touchdown, Indianapolis. Ten yards on the touchdown pass. And the Colts are able to make some inroads here to that deficit. Well, with this rookie QB, we talk a lot about his ball placement and how good he can be at laying it right in there. I think we just saw, Charles, though, the strength of that arm. That was an absolute rifle for the completed touchdown. It absolutely was, and let's face it, you think he was really ready to get that first touchdown? Absolutely. He threw that pass with authority, just as you described. Big-time arm right there, and let's face it, a lot of quarterbacks used to be pitchers in baseball. The fastball was usually their best pitch, and we saw it there. Extra point by Gay is up and good, and it makes the score 21 to 10. Sanchez now, he'll kick it away following the touchdown. Out of the end zone comes Johnson. And ultimately, he stopped right where he would have been if he had simply gone down to a knee at the 25. The Jaguars back with it on offense. Their lead down to two scores after the touchdown a moment ago as they start with a first and 10. Lawrence to throw. You get Rodney. You get Rodney. Open man is Kirk complete. And he takes this up to the 40 yard line before being corralled. 16 yards right off the bat and a first down. I'll tell you what, a lot of those mid range throws have been available because sometimes teams get too concerned about the deep ball and they leave too much space in front of them. And these guys have been taking advantage so far. So quickly, all the way up at the 40 yard line. A shotgun snap and a give to ETN. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. They suspected it. it was a power play up the middle coming at them. And boy, were they right. That defense got downhill in a hurry and limited them to just a couple on first down. Here's a second and eight. Lawrence will throw. And they'll try and set up the screen to ETN. So just three yards on the completion there. And now third down and six to go. Good reactions there defensively. That screen was a little slow in developing, and they shut that one down with little gain. They are in need of six yards here if they hope to move the chains. On third down, Lawrence. That's caught on the left side by Kirk. And taking it across midfield and just shy of the 40. It's a gain of 13 for number 13, and it gives him a first down. And now we get into the psychology of the whole thing because a lot of teams with a two-score lead in the third quarter, they almost become defensive with their offense, just playing not to lose. I think with this team, you got to figure at this point, this is a great spot for them to go into attack mode, really try and put the hammer down and finish this one off. Now from Colts territory, here's a first and 10 at the 42-yard line. Operating from the gun, Lawrence. And this nearly an interception, but it's incomplete. Well, a turnover really would have helped him there, but not to be. 
Offense was moving it a little bit, had them back on their heels, but they earned a brief pause by forcing the incompletion. That gives them a quick chance to regroup and try and mount a stand before they're backed up even further. Second and 10, here's Lawrence again. Oh, it's a screen pass, that's complete. And this one goes nowhere. Losing yardage on the play back at the 46. So that'll go as a four-yard loss on the play. And that'll force upon him a third and 14. Well, it looked like the defense, they were ready for that one. Really left him almost no room to work after catching the ball. He could throw every move in the book at him. They were there, and they tackle him for a loss. Seventh play of this drive coming up, but a long way to go on third down. Again, he'll drop to throw. Completes it to Evan Ingram. And a good job on the tackle there as they get him down shy of the first on the 35-yard stripe. They pick up 10, but it'll still lead to a fourth down. And I believe that that gain on third and long changes things quite a bit because this would be a very long field goal. I wouldn't be surprised to see him go for it here. Riley Patterson now on for the field goal. From the left hash, this will be a 52-yard attempt. And I don't think this has the carry. It does not. It's no good. And this will remain an 11-point spread. Here comes the Indianapolis offense now as they get set to take over. A strong showing their last time out. They scored the touchdown, but Charles, they look up and they're still down double digits, so you feel like just to keep pace, this drive probably needs to end in the end zone as well. Yeah, and I think the best move for them is to not worry about how far they are down on the scoreboard, but to just remember the last drive and how it ended. Go ahead and try and repeat that. Then you can look at the scoreboard and see where this game is. The Indy offense at the line and set to go. Right now, Charles, it just feels like they're trying to keep pace. They did score the touchdown last time out, but they still trail by double digits here. We'll see if this offense is once again up to the task. Yeah, and I think that after the last drive, they've got them pretty revved up, don't you think? Everything they were doing was working pretty well. They go back out there with the same mindset, play at the same tempo and the same pace. Still a lot of time left to make something happen in this one. Again, it's Taylor. And that play will go nowhere. Losing yardage back near midfield at the 49. He'll lose a yard on the play, so now they need three yards on third down. I know they'd love to take some heat off of that young quarterback, but so far, not much in the running game, and this won't help things either. A loss on that play. These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. Yeah, Richardson back to throw it. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he is going to have a Colts first down, and he was able to get it by plunting. A gain of eight on third and three. And that one was a lot of fun right there because that was the game within the game. Third and short, blitz was on. What's the key for the quarterback? Get out of your hands in a hurry. And that was a quick little completion. Got the job done for a first down. On first down, Richardson. This pass left side to Downs. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. An excellent pickup of 20 yards. And that's one of the better plays we've seen this offense put together so far. They haven't been able to get on track much at all. But listen, they're only down a couple of scores with the rest of this quarter and the entire fourth remaining. So, stranger things have happened.
Under a minute to go in this third quarter as they come up first and 10. Richardson looking to throw this. Right side complete. That's Woods. Give him a gain of five on the completion, and it'll be second down. That's a staple of this offense. Drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. Now second and five. Back to the air with Richardson. That is caught inside the five. And the Colts are looking at first and goal as he's tackled all the way down at the two-yard line. It'll be first and goal when we come back. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now in Jacksonville. It's the Colts, so they've got the football, but they've got work to do trailing here as we begin the fourth quarter. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. Taylor is going to take this one in for a Colts touchdown. And the thing you have to love about Jonathan Taylor, he's a shifty speed guy most of the time when you hand him the football, but he's not coming off the field when you get down near the goal line because he's as tough and gritty as they come. And he finishes things off here by getting into the end zone. So here we go. The Colts will go for two. Richardson will throw for it. And this is caught. They got it. And that could be an important two points. It gets them back within a field goal. Well, I guess the coach looked at the two-point cheat sheet, said go for it, get it to a three-point game, and they did it. Yeah, and sometimes you just throw out time of game. You don't worry about that. There's just a feel sometimes in making that call, and he felt good about what he had for a two-point conversion, and now they're only down three and feeling great about themselves. Sanchez now, he'll kick it away following the touchdown. Johnson won't return this, and the football will come out to the 25. Out comes the Jacksonville offense as they get set to take over here. They've been asleep for a little while on this side of the football, Charles, and the score is just a one-score game now. Haven't had any points this half. What gives? Let's go old school here. All right, let's get back to the basics. Get back to running the football. High percentage throws. Find the guys that eat pressure and make plays for you and make sure they touch it. Lawrence bringing the Jaguars up first and 10 at their 25-yard line. Off the play fake, he'll look to throw. Escapes the sack. And he slides and covers up at the end as he's going to be able to pick up decent yardage. Give him 10 that time, escaping the danger, running with it, and picking up a first down. Well, there you go. Save your best scramble of the day for a big-time situation in the fourth quarter, picking up the first. You don't want to use it up early, right? You want to make sure you save it for that exact moment, that key time. And that's what he did, although you and I both know it wasn't planned that way. But what a nice job using his eyes, scanning the field, and realizing when it was time to exit the pocket and go. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. A give running right, ETN. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. 
If you can keep getting gains like that, Charles, with the lead here in the fourth quarter, I mean, keep running it, right? No doubt about it, but what the offense coordinator has to do is understand they're going to continue to stack the line of scrimmage. What runs do you have in your arsenal that'll work against a stacked box and continue to move the ball? From the 43, here's second down and two. Switch, switch, switch. And they'll go again with ETN. And he'll be taken down at the 46-yard line. Two yards, good enough for a first. Well, it is our business to analyze what we saw out there. And on that play, I saw a defense staying in base, not taking a chance, not blitzing in a situation when they absolutely need the football back. That's either a case of overthinking it or not thinking it through. If you do blitz, do you have to be careful about where you're coming from or are you just coming from all angles? You have to be careful about where you're coming from, obviously, but at this stage, you have to take a few chances as well. This could be the start of a nice stand from this defense now after getting walked backwards on this drive. Come through with another one here and you have them staring at a third and long and that puts the defense in a position to dictate to the offense. Now a second and ten. Straight ahead, ETN. And they're well past midfield, just a yard or two shy of the 40. 64 yards rushing for him now as he's carried it 13 times. I think we're seeing the effect that runs like that are starting to have on this game. They're a little bit slower, that front seven reacting to the football, almost like body blows in boxing. Slowing them down, and they're really starting to take over in this game. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and 10. They'll bring a receiver in motion right. He'll get it here on the jet sweep. A gain of three, second down. Well, they gave up a few yards there, but all in all, I think it's a pretty nice job defensively against the jet sweep. If they don't slow him up, he might take it to the house. So they'll take that play every time on the defensive side of the ball. If nothing else, they've already taken a couple minutes off the clock here already as they come up second down. They go play action now. Lawrence. This ball caught by Strange. And he takes this just a few yards shy of the red zone before going out. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. And these guys certainly are not hiding what their intention is. They're absolutely showing it. They're definitely not going to sit on this lead here in the fourth quarter. Red on red. Hey, so go, so go. Here I come. 44. 44. Here I come. Throwing now, Lawrence on first down. Got an open man. It's Washington. And able to get him down, but he does reach the five. Another big hitter there. This one good for 18. These guys are running offense like you drive. The pedal is down. <laughs> Stomp down. How about that? Back-to-back -back completions. They are rolling. So much for being conservative and running that football. So first and goal, six points here would go a long way toward wrapping this one up. Lawrence, and it's caught. Touchdown, Jaguars. Josiah DeGuara, a five-yard touchdown. And the Jaguars get an important score there to extend their lead here in this fourth quarter. There was no going through the progressions on that touchdown pass. Yeah, nor was it necessary. His receiver won that route early, presented himself. No reason to wait. Go ahead and put it on him and score a touchdown. Patterson now for the extra point. And his guys will take a 10-point lead. So that drive consumes nine plays all told. And it culminates in a Jags touchdown.
After the touchdown, Cook now to kick this one away. This fielded right at the goal line. And able to get this across the 20, but not much further as he's dropped it to 23-yard line. The Colts offensive unit ready to see what they can do here. Well, that last touchdown we just saw, what an important one. Now it's back to a two-score deficit for this crew as they take the field here, and they are in desperate need of finding the end zone. First and ten. Here's Richardson with it. And he'll be upended here after a pickup of three, getting it out to the 25. Well, it certainly appears to me that the defensive guys are starting to look a little bit tired while he still has some fresh legs. Not the biggest gain we've seen on a scramble, but still some positive yardage on a play that initially looked like a sure win for the defense. Here's second and seven. Richardson. He'll find a man over the middle. It's Pittman. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. 11 yards for number 11. This possession means so much for them. They've got to focus on this drive and find a way to make this a one-possession game. Yes. Got to get a score. Yeah, so good with a field goal. Don't necessarily need a touchdown. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Here's Richardson to throw. And going right back to Pittman. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. Well, every drive from here out is definitely crucial and critical. They know that they need to get at least three here to get it back to a one-score game. But I can't imagine that in their huddle that they're thinking at all about getting a field goal. They want to get into the end zone and then try and get the ball back again. So in Jacksonville territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 49-yard line. Now Richardson. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Taylor. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. Back-to-back -back nice plays, 12 yards that time and a first down. All right, this is the time of the game where they're down a couple of scores. And they've really got to get some yards in chunks. And they know the defense doesn't want to give those up, but they've got to find a way to take them anyway. Now the question is, can they string a few of those together? They give to Taylor out of the gun. And a short gain there down to the 37-yard line. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. But not much on that run, Charles. No, that's exactly the way to execute a run blitz there. They guessed correctly that they would move the ball on the ground honed in on it and stopped him. Mark that down for a win in the defense's column. Richardson looking to throw. And the timing a bit off that time as that one falls to the ground. Well, he'd been targeted quite a bit on this drive. And finally, I think the guys on the defensive side, they said no more. They slapped the double coverage on him, made it very tough for him to get the ball. And this offense on third down today, they've converted three times and eight chances. This is third and nine. And he will slide to a stop. He does have the first down. Indianapolis moving the chains there on a gain of 12. It certainly appears that he's been able to get a read on how they've wanted to contain him in this game. He's seen some places where he can beat them in big spots. And right there, he slides in with ease for the first down. Richards into the air on first down. Oh, no, he lost the football. Fortunate to get that football back because trailing here in the second half, last thing they needed was to lose the possession. And the word I think of here is opportunity because it could have been lost there, their chance to score points. But the opportunity for the defense was to go ahead and really close this game down if they were able to get possession. Let's go now. Here's
there's a first and 10 at the 14 yard line. Back to throw, here's Richardson. Out of his hands quickly to Pittman. And the Colts are gonna be set up with a first and goal on a pass play that moves them all the way down to the one. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, you know, you're down two scores. I don't think you need to rush just yet, but you can't take your time either. Yeah, even if you don't want to commit to full two-minute offense, you have to up the tempo, up the urgency. Maybe you're starting to call two plays in a huddle each time you snap the ball. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. They'll run here with Taylor, and he takes it in for a Colts score. Jonathan Taylor with now two fourth quarter touchdowns. And the Colts have made it a one score game again here in the fourth. So how about that for an answer? They get the touchdown there and it's back to a one score game here in the fourth. And that's what these guys have done all game long because they've scratched and slashed their way to stay in this game. And by now we should all realize they're not going away. Now the pressure again swings to their defense because they're gonna need to find some way to get the ball back. Gay is on for the point after. And the lead is down to a field goal now. So that one a pretty time-consuming 10-play drive. And it was capped off by a Jonathan Taylor touchdown. Sanchez now, he'll kick it away following the touchdown. Johnson won't return this, and the football will come out to the 25. As the offense returns, let's take a look at running back Travis Etienne. Responsible for well over 100 yards of total offense, but still hasn't found the end zone. You think that's in the back of his mind going into this drive? It's always in the back of the mind of a player who's having that type of a day because you want that gratification for your work, right? You want that stamp on top of everything. But bottom line for him, he's doing great work. Sometimes it just opens it up for other people to actually get into the end zone for him. The runners you know, would they rather have 60 yards, three touchdowns, or 150 no touchdowns? I think more than likely 150 and no touchdowns, but all the runners that I know would say, I'll take 150 and three touchdowns. They're greedy that way. Sometimes I think these defensive tackles get a little bit of a bum rap. We just see them as big guys that eat up blockers for others to make tackles. Oftentimes they're quicker than they get credit for. And this time he uses quickness to make a play. A loss of a yard there to start out. That leads to a second and 11. Here's Lawrence. That's taken in by Duvernay. And they're able to get this one across the 35. 12 yards that time for number 12 as they move the chains. This is something you got to be wary of defensively. I mean, just because they're in the mode of trying to burn some clock doesn't mean they won't pass it. They got good yardage out of that one. Yeah, and really, when you're looking at it, now they've got a fresh set of downs. Look for second down. If they want to take another shot and try and loosen things up, that'd be the time to do it. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Now Lawrence to throw. The Colts are going to get him. Down he goes. Quiddy Pay getting in there and burying him behind the line. It seemed like he kept going through those progressions, and I thought he might dump that underneath, but he couldn't get rid of the football in time. And I have to wonder if he was thinking while he was back there, I wish there were a lot less progressions on this play, just someone that I can dump the ball to and get it out of my hands. Rip. Clock continuing to run. They'll probably wind this all the way before snapping it on second down. From the gun, Bigsby. 
And he's going to have to protect the football and take his lumps here at this stage of the game as they stop him behind the line. And this is why the head coach gets paid the big bucks. Look at where they are in this situation, partner. Do you throw the ball here in a long-distance situation? Do you run it again and trust your defense and make sure you take care of the ball and punt it away? What kind of options do you have here, and what do you trust more on your team? Yeah, they may have just pushed him back into that throwing situation. We'll see. Three points separating these two sides with two minutes left to go in the fourth. So it's Jaguar football here as we welcome you back. They're facing a critical third down now as they try to hold on to this lead. Try to take this home, they'll run across the 30 to the 31 yard line. And now we'll see a timeout used on defense as they stop it right out of the break with 1.57 to go in the ballgame. Here's Logan Cook now as he's on to punt for the first time this afternoon. And a fair catch called for and made just inside the 35-yard line. No return, but it goes down as just a punt of 31 yards. And the Colts will go on offense here, first and 10. So Richardson and the Colts now down by a field goal, a minute 51 on the clock. How will this thing pan out? We'll watch as they come up on first down. Here's Richardson, flush to his right. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. Well, he's proven real effective running the football. No one open, don't force it. Just get what you can, and that's what he's done very well in this game. They come up now on second and two. Now Richardson. And he'll be brought down just shy of midfield at the 49-yard line. If they get a game-changing score on this drive, it's going to be because of plays like that. That run was pure heart. Took it himself, found a way to reset the downs, and advance the ball. Plenty of time and two timeouts still at their disposal. First and ten here. Richardson. Here comes second down. Richardson to throw it. Throw over the middle, going to be caught here by Mo Alley Cox. Now the Colts going to burn the second of their timeouts as they get it with 26 seconds to go in the football game. This is first and ten. Richardson looking to throw it. The throw here right sideline falls incomplete. A couple extra defensive backs out there in the dime, and because of that, really not many places to throw the football, if any. And typically, what would you want to do against that dime? Run the football. You want to run the ball, but you can't do it in this situation. Not nearly enough time on the clock. You have to really navigate against a tough defense presented against you. Now Richardson. A short throw. This is caught by Cox. And he is out of bounds inside the 30. It didn't check off every box. But the most important one, got the clock stopped, getting out of bounds. They may be a little short of the first down, but I thought that was the key. 
Big play looming here. This is third and seven with a crowd on their feet. Now here's a fake on the jet sweep, and instead a give to Taylor. And he'll be stopped at the 27-yard line, well short of the first down marker. Now the Colts will use their third and final timeout as he'll stop it with 11 seconds remaining in the ball game. So now one of the biggest kicks of the night is forthcoming. This to potentially send us to overtime. The Jaguars are going to go ahead and use their first timeout. That'll leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this. So on fourth down, out trots the kicker in a big spot here. This to tie things up in the final minute. And his kick is good. And they will tie this game here in the final seconds. So a money kick there in the final seconds. And now, barring any hijinks on the kickoff here, partner, I think you and I, we're going to settle in for a little overtime. And I wouldn't have it any other way. This has been a dogfight all through regulation. No reason to think it won't continue in the extra period. So overtime on the horizon, barring a wild finish here as the kick's away. Out of the end zone comes Johnson. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. and 10 it's Bigsby and he's taken down but able to slip across the 35 and we have free football over time here we go my friend and the way this game played out this is exactly how it should end going to overtime because neither one got an advantage today So the Jaguars going to get possession of the football first here in this overtime session as the kick is away. And the tackle going to be made right there at the 25-yard line. And out now comes Jacksonville as they get ready to go. Lawrence bringing the Jaguars up first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. Bigsby with a carry to begin the series. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. Short gain there to start overtime. Almost a tester play, wasn't it? Wanted to see if the guys on defense were going to fit the gaps the correct way because we're in overtime. So it's not just physical tiredness out there, right? 
mentally are you still doing what you're supposed to do and they were up to the task on that play and certainly fatigue on both sides of the football and yeah, this one drops incomplete but I think the defense jumped Well, we looked at each other right when he flinched. We knew that that flag was coming. Yeah, offsides, easy call. Mark off the five and keep it moving. The ball gets bumped up. It's now second and four after the penalty. First throw of overtime for Trevor Lawrence. And he'll be brought down by the Colts. They get to him for a loss of four, and it brings up third down on the sack. Well, you could almost see his eyes light up defensively. I mean, as a linebacker, that's about as quick as you can get to a quarterback. So what did your third grade teacher teach you about straight lines, right? As soon as you have those, you take full advantage of them. He found a gap in the offensive line, got to the quarterback, and put him on the deck. Third and eight situation. A tough spot here in overtime on the opening drive. Now Lawrence. Under pressure, they got him again. Quinny Pay picks up his second sack of the afternoon. Now that was a passer's nightmare. The front door totally shut down by the defense, so he kept going backwards, hoping to find another avenue of escape. It didn't exist. Here's Logan Cook now. On for a very important punt here in overtime. And he'll take it just outside the 40. So a good punt there, but a nice return of 11 yards. And the Colts are set up well as they take over first and 10 on the short side of the field. And now Indianapolis set to take the field. Well, their defense did the job, got off the field without giving up any points. And now, Charles, all they need here is a field goal and they get the victory. Yeah, and this is the way I love overtime. I'm one of those really, really old school guys that like sudden death right from the beginning. Well, we've got it now because any points wins the game. On defense, get a safety, a pick six, fumble return. You can win it as well. So I'm really looking forward to this series and see how both sides play it. And that is caught on the right sideline, but out of bounds, says the line judge. The throw took him a little too far. It's second down. Well, oh, they'll certainly be on the tablets going over that one for sure. Clearly, they were expecting something else out of the defense and couldn't adjust to make that completion happen. After the incomplete pass here now is second and ten. And he'll protect himself at the end here as he winds up getting pretty decent yardage. Give him seven there on the tuck and run, and they're in better shape now for third. Well, this has certainly turned into a showcase game for what he can do on the ground because they're just continuing to give him chances to run it, and he's earning every additional carry by putting up positive yardage on each run. They'll try and run for the first with Taylor. Now they needed two. They could only get one. Fourth down. You know, we might start getting some props here in the booth. You know, that one that says the D and then the fence that you put up next to it. Mm -hmm. How about that? They brought out the jumbo package and still couldn't move them off the line of scrimmage enough to pick up that first down. Impressive. They were ready defensively for that jumbo set. Time. They're going for it on fourth down. They'll run for it. It's Taylor. And he's going to have the first down yardage to the 35. A solid pickup of five and a very solid fourth down conversion. And defensively, pure frustration. 
Okay, you and I are sitting up here getting ready to analyze whether they should go for it or not. Did you see the quarterback just point to the sideline and say, uh-uh, everybody back. I've got this call. Well, you knew this side of the field, they're in plus territory, fourth and one. He wasn't coming off the field. No, he wasn't coming off the field, and he wasn't letting the offense go with him at all. He said, we're staying out here, and we're picking this one up. That's some leadership right there. Not sure what happened out there, but it looked like the timing was a little off on that throw. Well, you know I'm a defender, so what am I going to say? Great defense. Oh, Darn right. They did something to disrupt that timing. Second and 10, back to the air with Richardson. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. Brought down by Trayvon Walker on the pass rush. And this dominant defensive performance continued on that play. This poor quarterback has not received the protection he needs and has had to pick himself up off the turf far too often. Seventh play of this drive coming up, but a long way to go on third down. Looking to throw, Richardson. And he's going to be taken down right at the line. So no sack, he gets back to the line of scrimmage, but it'll still bring up a fourth down. So it all rests now on the right foot of the kicker, Matt Gay. And now the Jags going to signal for another timeout. They'll be down to just one remaining as we step aside here in overtime. And now it all rests on the right foot of their kicker. This to win it in overtime. And this is off target to the left. Didn't get there anyway. It's no good. And we will play on here in overtime. Out comes the Jacksonville offense as they get set to take over here. These guys definitely hoping for a better showing than their last appearance. They couldn't really even move the football much beyond the shadows of their own goalpost, Charles. We'll see if they can get a better, more sustained drive going here. Yeah, and every team that we ever talk to says the exact same thing. When you start a drive from that deep in your own territory, the goal is a minimum of at least two first downs because even if you have to punt then, you change the field position, right? You flip the field a little bit. They didn't get that done. This time they want to string together a nice drive and help themselves out. Give them three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. But from an offensive perspective, that was a tough run because he only picked up three yards. Well, let's flip it over to the defensive side. They now have the advantage. Three three-yard gains, that means they're punting the ball likely on fourth down. That's what you're looking for when you're playing defense. Now Lawrence, that's going to be caught by Kirk. And he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 40. Lawrence finding Kirk there for the Jaguar first. Charles, you get into these overtime situations, that's not a bad guy to dial into. Well, when you have to have plays, especially in a spot as you just described, we're in OT, you've got to go to the guys you can trust and you know are going to make the plays. Well, they say, it's not the X's and the O's, it's the Jimmy's and the Joe's. Here's a give to Bigsby, and he fights forward for a modest two-yard gain, second down. Early down stuff to put this offense in a precarious position. We know that securing the point of attack, especially against the big-bodied guys in the middle of this D, has got to be priority one. Go, 
This is second and eight. Hey, so go, so go. Come on. Here we go. 45 to the mic. 45 to the mic. Oh. Looking to throw Lawrence. That's going to be caught by Bigsby. Even with the good footwork, he'll be stopped just inside the 35 yard line. So eight yards on the completion there, and third and one now. I think the best offenses love to give the ball to their running backs in open space because they have the ability to make people miss, and they also have the ability to run over people. And if you do that throughout the game, after a while, they might just run through some of those tackles and go a long way. Well, we saw him shed a nice tackle on that play. And an excellent job of finding the opening as he's got this now all the way down to the 22. 11 yards there for Jacksonville and a first down as well. I think they like this drive a little bit better there, partner. Running game helping out, picking up some of the slack. Because remember the last drive, they went three and out. Another run by Bigsby. And after the good gain last play, this time they say, uh-uh, as he's going to be stopped behind the line of scrimmage. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. That's a play to take note of there for the defense. I think in the future, if you're going to try and block him, maybe you get a guard to help double-team him and try and steer him out of the play. They should have done it on that snap. Looking at a second and 11 now after the loss. From the gun, a run for Johnson. And able to get about three as he's taken down right at the 20. And I know you, with every carry, especially in overtime, you're just saying, if you're that ball carrier, hold on to the football. Hold on to it, protect it, but not necessarily settling because you're trying to get to the end zone. You're trying to end the game right here. And I know the defensive guys, poking, clawing, raking, trying to knock the ball free and protect their end zone. Yeah, like you alluded to, especially this part of the field. So on is their kicker, and it's down to this. From the left hash, this from 37. And he got it. The kick is good in overtime. He's able to split the uprights. And the Jaguars have won the game. A lot more was on the line in this one than just defending your home field, CD. They defend their home field against a division rival and get the victory, so this one feels a little extra special. It has to, right? There's always just a little more emphasis on games like this. Everyone talks about playing each game the exact same way, but you and I both know that is not true. Division rivals, you want to take care of business, not just at home, but against a team that you really don't like very much, too. So that'll do it for my partner, Charles Davis, and the best darn crew in the industry. I'm Brandon Gauden. This has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. The Jaguars are winners here as we say so long from Jacksonville.